not the overall. Oh. Be I think so, see. too. I mean... Ben and the family are coming over tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Because you're like, cause she's like oh, yeah. in 18th, and you're like in, I think, first? No. <laughs> Repeat that. I don't think I heard that. Yeah, <laughs> No. Oh, yeah, we definitely cannot repeat that. <laughs> I'll just pretend I never heard that. Dude, yeah. my Okay, I, I actually don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> sure. Facing handstand push-ups, really, I was not expecting them for them to be as hard as they were. So, um, yeah, I was pretty surprised when I got there. I definitely thought I'd be able to do a lot bigger sets than I actually was. I think I was doing like sets of three, honestly, but mm. it was good. It was, yeah, very taxing on the shoulders for sure. And then later on that day, I did workout two, workout two which was, um, the AMRAP with the dumbbell and crossover skips. Um, yeah, it went good. And then I did trip a lot though. So um, then today the plan was to do workouts three and four, but that changed. So I did workout three this morning and that went good. But then um, I was deciding if I was gonna do workout four or if I was gonna redo workout um, two before two. Okay. Uh, the deadline um, for when did, I need to submit it. How did that conversation kind of <laughs> start like? Um, well, it was, uh, I think like I thought I maybe could do a bit better, get a, maybe finish that seventh round and start mm. into the eighth. Um, but yeah, I just thought, getting into that next round would kind of be a separator a little bit. Mm. Um, so, so, you, so you chatted with Josh, you guys decided like, you know, whether or not it was a good idea to do it or not? Or yeah, I also didn't feel yeah. like doing the row today, okay. so. Okay, all right, <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's just my thoughts on it. It's not like a, I don't think it's a make or break. I just think it's a more so a comfort thing. Like you're gonna be more comfortable with your position. It was more than just like redoing the workout to get a better score. Like, did I think she was capable of getting a little bit higher? Yeah. Um, just on the execution side of things. But you have to factor in that you know, there's a finite amount of time and you have to recover. Uh, and what impact that will have on the body going into other workouts. So, mm. 
Ultimately, we decided to redo it. Um, it went better, <laughs> except I screwed up counting on two of the sets of double unders, so she actually did three less, so we had to put in her original score, um, which was still very, very good. But. but I also could have been counting my reps, and I wasn't counting my reps. That's not her job to count so. <laughs> my job is a judge. But anyways, um, yeah, I finished. I got, like, if we weren't counting, like, I would have gotten, uh, I think, six extra reps. But, um, still tripped a lot. Yeah, I still tripped a lot. Actually, I probably tripped more, yeah. but I was uh, faster on the dumbbell. Mm. But, In yeah, hindsight. I didn't want to submit that score. Because I was watching, I knew I didn't do three reps of the skipping, so. Yeah, we reviewed the video. I felt guilty. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to do that. So, yeah, I just kept my original score in. And, yeah, submitted that. And now. Tonight, we're just going to recover, and then mm. we'll only have two workouts left. Yep. So, cool. yeah. So in hindsight, after looking at the leaderboard uh, results, would those extra reps, would, it, would that have made a huge difference? Or? Uh, Maybe one spot yeah. overall. Yeah. So like, nothing yeah. really. Yeah. So, so it's pretty insignificant. Yeah. 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 It's always I better to take the high road. Stage, right? Yeah, it's always better to take the high road, right? Like, you don't yeah. want to ever have any speculation surrounding like your scores and then your uh yeah just your character as an athlete right yeah, so absolutely. But, but it's all good i got a little bit of extra fitness in today <laughs> so you proved to yourself yeah. that you could do better yeah yeah that one was more of like a mental um game for me like yeah i did not want to do it at the time mm -hmm. but it was good um mental practice so nice yeah cool. it wasn't all for nothing <laughs>
Okay, so uh, quarterfinals is done. It was a really good weekend. Uh, lots to take away uh, in terms of yeah, move into the camera. Do it again. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> Focus. Okay. Good. Okay. Quarterfinals is done. Uh, these two crushed it. Uh, I'm not surprised, but again, lots to take away from quarterfinals this year. Uh, a couple new movements that add a little bit of spice to the workouts, and we'll definitely start incorporating those uh, into our training as we move forward to semifinals. Um, yeah, the importance of you know executing and just making sure we're trying to get in here and give our best effort uh, is, is for sure something that these guys did very well this weekend. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Any comments from you guys? Favorite workout? Favorite moment? Let's start with Jack. Favorite moment? Oh, uh, my favorite moment was when I redid one workout very reluctantly and, uh, and Coach Wooly snapped me out of a, a bad headspace yeah. and then I, I did a significantly better on my second go. Yes. Cool. Uh, I mean, leading up to this point, I've been working a lot on my strength, so I'm probably the most proud of the clean and jerk workout. Uh, I think that just really showed me too that like all of that has paid off, all the strength work leading up to now has paid off, so I was very pleased with how that went. I mean, yeah, on the leaderboard, but also just how I executed wow. it. Wow, that was really good. Good job, Emma. Yep. Uh, so yeah, Sorry. we'll see you guys in the next video, um, which will probably be soon. Or team on we'll see you guys in Orlando. Team on three. Okay, ready? Team on three. One, two, three. Team! Woo. <laughs> I didn't even say it. All right, hi Sola. Uh, I'm Riley Sloot. I'm the fittest plumber in Canada. I don't know if you remember me, but uh, I don't know what to say now. <laughs> I love you. <laughs>